We are back at Galveston Island State Park and it's freaking windy out here today. So I apologize if there's any wind noise in the microphone, but I'm doing the best I can. Tried to pick a non windy time to get this intro <laughs> done. I tell you what, let me stand on the other side of the porta potty right there. Porta potty's on the air. John Crook would be happy right now. Today we are going to use a new antenna, the little HP Pro from TarHeelDesigns.com. It is the motorized version. I did a video last year at this park. It was on the other side. I'm on the bay side today. Last time we were on the uh, the Gulf side, the Gulf of Mexico, Gulf of America, the Gulf of America side. That's right. Yeah, I forgot about that. And I told everybody in the camera, I was like, guys, this antenna is freaking rad. I love this antenna. It is awesome. It is a great piece of kit to have if you're going to a national park or a state park somewhere or somewhere where they don't like you to either drive stakes into the ground or throw antennas and ropes over trees because it is, it's got this nifty little tripod here. Now it's already fallen over once. That's why I have the bag sitting on it. It's got this nifty little tripod here that just sits on the ground. This just sits on the ground. This is the motorized version. It comes with this very long orange control cable that plugs into a toggle switch up and down. You can adjust it up and down. And I've already done all of that. So the next part of the video will be me showing you how I unbox that and put it all together and do that kind of thing. So much like the first video, I love this antenna. He doesn't make the manual version anymore. So I have one of the only manual versions in existence. He does the motorized version now. He had them for sale at Hamcation of 2025. And this video is not sponsored by Tar Heel, but you can find the link to Tar Heel Designs in the description, tarheeldesigns.com in the description below. Uh, he does not have, it's not an affiliate link. He didn't have anything like that yet. Maybe I'll work on that. Maybe I'll try to, try to get him talked into that. But he did send me this antenna for free. So just FYI, but this is a freaking awesome antenna for parks on the air, for portable operations. Let's see how well it works today. I put together the Explorer bag a second Explore bag, the original Explore bag. This is the original design, the new one's out now. And I put the Tar Heel stuff in here, broke down all the pieces of it. This is legs to the tripod stand. These are the radials, the ground radials. This is part of the switch and whatnot here. This is the motorized version. And this is the manual version. Got both versions in here. I ordered a couple of sleeves on Amazon yesterday to protect these, because I don't want these bounce around together. But I'm not convinced 100% that I want to keep them in this bag. I thought I wanted to use this bag strictly for this Tar Heel antenna. There's the base for the tripod. Break that out real quick. Well, I love this bag. It's great. I just don't think it's really conducive to what I'm trying to do here. Because you've got two, I've got the two Tar Heel screwdriver antennas, the motorized and the manual. The manual one's not made anymore, so I'm definitely keeping that one. I've got three legs for the tripod like this. So I've got five pieces that are, you know, kind of cylindrical in design. And then, of course, I've got the, there's two whips in here. I'll show those to you in a second. There's a military whip and a um, telescoping stainless steel whip. I think I would be more happy with a bag similar to the Chameleon CHA sling bag. Now, I have a, a CHA sling bag and I keep my spider eams mast, my POTA 20 and POTA 33 mast in it. I keep three different telescoping whips, one from MFJ that you can't get anymore, one from Intellitron, and one from Chameleon, and I keep a few other various things in there. So that's my mast bag that I take with me to POTA spots and whatnot, and it's, you know, it's already being used for something. So I'd like another bag like that. Those bags are about $80. They're very well made, but I was looking on Amazon yesterday to try to find something maybe a little bit cheaper that would kind of do the same thing. Oops. Yeah, maybe a little bit cheaper. So I'm, I'm looking around to see what I can find right now. But today we're going to use this bag. This is everything that I had. Again, this is uh, some extra parts that come with it. It's got the up and down toggle switch, got an extra uh, control cable in there. This motorized unit has an extra long control cable. I'm gonna put that out in a second. These are the radials, of course, the two different antennas. So we're gonna set it up right there and we're gonna do some parks on the air. So this is the tripod here. And this is the same tripod that I used in my first video with the manual screwdriver, the HP, Little Pro HP, tarheeldesigns.com. 
Link will be in the description below. Made in the USA, of course. He sent me this. Now, he sent me this whole system, okay? So I just want that made clear up front. And he sent me this extra adapter on the bottom of this antenna. This right here, this is the part that goes into the tripod over there. This little adapter has the um, ham stick style threaded. I always forget, there's like seven and three quarters or whatever that number is for uh, th threaded uh, ham sticks and some CB antennas and stuff like that. But that's to go into one of those mounts. So you could take this thing and mount it to your vehicle very easily. But today, I'm gonna try to keep from losing that. We're gonna put this on the mast here and I'm going to use this telescoping. He's also got this telescoping whip here that kind of similar to other stainless steel telescoping whips we use. I just mentioned the one from MFJ Chameleon and Intellitron. But this one here has the base connector on it for Tar Heel. So this one is specifically made for this antenna system. So you can easily attach it to the top of this little HP Pro and it's universally adapted to other types of systems as well. So we're going to use this one today rather than the military mask that I used last time. Okay, right here. I'm going to set that up right there and I'm going to put the radios on, get it all tuned up. Today's video is of course sponsored by Mezzi and Poloni Coax. This is their new Stealth Flex Coax that's a little bit thinner than the Potaflex I've got. You can see that it's olive drab in color. It's green. So if you're going to put it down in a park somewhere, you're going to lose it because people aren't going to see it and they're going to walk over it but guess what you know what we put down the orange stuff and people walk over that anyway so we're going to use this today you can save a 10 percent discount on any everything mezzi and plony with the link in the description below and the coupon code of hr2 cables over at gigaparts so go check that out and we're going to use this today and see just how well it works which of course it's going to work perfectly because it is awesome awesome coax I've got my bag sitting next to the antenna. The antenna fell, the wind is blowing this direction. And you guys might be able to hear it in the mic. Apologies for that. Push this under there. I got my bag sitting next to it to kind of anchor the antenna down because it's not staked into the ground. The feet on the tripod does have holes where you could, can put stakes in it. So I could stake it down if I wanted to right now. I don't have any stakes with me. I left those in the other bag. I'm trying to do this thing where I don't carry as much stuff to the park. And when I don't carry as much stuff to the park, I end up missing something. So that's where I'm at now. But we're gonna get it to work regardless. After tinkering with this for a few minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this stainless steel with this uh, adjustable stainless steel piece. And I'm gonna put on the, the coiled whip that it comes with, or the, the military whip that it comes with, I should say. Because with this, you have two points of adjustment for the antenna. You have the uh, the motorized coil that moves up and down, and you have this that you can move up and down. And I've done several activations from this exact location at this park with a Chameleon 17-foot whip, with an MFJ 17-foot whip, and with the um, on the other side of the on, on the beach side, I did uh, uh, an activation with the Alpha Antenna's 21-foot whip. And these whips are great if you just put it in a stake in the ground and adjust it accordingly until you get the SWR on the band that you want. But now I have two points of adjustment, the coil, the motored coil antenna, and this thing, and it's not coming in very quickly. And I could fiddle with it for a while and see what it, um, you know, kind of what it looks like. But the point of this antenna, the point of this little, uh, this little Pro HP antenna, the motorized version, is to adjust the coil up and down until you get to the frequency, to the resonance on the frequency you want. So having a fixed position antenna, I think is going to work a little bit better. I might do another video later on working with the telescoping stainless steel whip. And I wonder if uh, Robert over at Tar Heel Designs has like a chart to use, because the chart that comes with this antenna talks about this whip, talks about this using, using this military style whip that comes with it. So it doesn't really say anything about the stainless steel adjusting whip, the telescoping whip. It talks about this whip, this 60 inch military style whip that comes with it. So we're going to use this today and see, maybe uh, use the telescoping whip in a later video. Let's get in the shade. Took me a little bit of adjusting to do this, but we are at 1.16 SWR at 21.300 megahertz. I hope that's coming through in the camera. 
because it's bright out here. It's hard to see it in the bright sunlight. I adjusted this thing all the way down with the military whip and it would not go to 10 meters. I could only get it down to like 2.7 or 2.8, something like that. But that's probably due to the salt water, the environment, how high I am above sea level, which is basically about two feet, <laughs> about two feet above sea level right now. So that's probably likely do that. So like I said a minute ago with the double adjustment, if I was to take this off and put the adjustable whip back on top, then I could lower the adjustable whip down lower than this military whip is and I could get down to 10 meters because the antenna is too long right now for 10 meters. It's beautiful on 15 meters right now, but it's too long for 10 meters. So you know what? I think I'm just gonna do some 15 meters because I love the 15 meter band. 21.300 is just right on, at the bottom portion of the general section of the band. So we're gonna fire this up and see what happens. I've already got a pileup going. This is awesome. Uh, the Kilo 9 station come back. Kilo 9, Lima Mike, Kilo 57. Indian November. Indian November. QSL. QSL, QSL. Good pipeline to Indiana today. Thanks for being out there on 15 meters, 73. QRZ from Kilo Charlie 5. Hotel Whiskey Bravo parks in the air. Kilo 7, Sierra Echo November. <laughs> There's Neil. Kilo 7, Sierra Echo November. What's up, Neil? 5 9 today. Hi, Jason. Yeah, same old thing. You're 5 9, Arizona, as usual. 73. Have a great time at it. Thanks for hunting, Neil. Always good to work you from the state park, 73. QRZ, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel, Whiskey Bravo, Parks in the Air. Kilo 3, Uniform, Juliet, Lima. Kilo 3, Uniform, Juliet, Lima, 5-9. Uh, Roger that, you're 5-9, South Carolina. Copy, South Carolina, 73. Thanks for the contact, QRZ. Kilo Zulu. Ending Zulu. Kilo Echo 9. Uh, Kilo Echo, Echo 9, is it Romeo, Quebec, Zulu? Kilo, uh, Kilo Echo 9, Bravo, Quebec, Zulu, 5-7 uh, into the state park. QSL, you're about a 5-8 here in Indiana. Thanks for the YouTube and 73, brother. Hey, thanks for watching YouTube. Uh, great pipeline to Indiana today from the state park, so 73 out there. QRZ, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel, Whiskey Bravo Parks in the air. Uh, the Kilo 1. Kilo something 1. Whiskey 1, Foxtrot, Yankee Golf. Uh, uh, no, you don't count, man. <laughs> Whiskey One, Foxtrot, Yankee Dolph. Uh, what's up, Izzo? <laughs> uh, it took me a second to recognize the call sign. Yeah, you, uh, you were a good 5859 when you first came in there. Then you kind of faded on me, but I got you in the logbook, buddy. Uh, good to work again, brother. Seventy-three, Don. Uh, good to talk to you. Seventy-three. QRZ, Kilo Charlie Five Hotel, Whiskey Bravo Parks in the air. Kilo Whiskey Four, Bravo. The Kilo Whiskey Four. Yeah, Kilo Whiskey Four, Romeo Bravo. Kilo Whiskey Four, Romeo Bravo Five Seven. Hey, thank you, Jason. You're good. Five Seven Fit Five Eight here in Virginia, Victor Alpha. Copy, Virginia, Victor Alpha. Good to work you today. Seventy-three. Hi, 73. Yeah, I think it's the first time we work, man. Love your videos. Keep them up. <laughs> 73, good luck. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Uh, thanks for watching the videos and good to work on the air. 73, have a good afternoon. CQ, CQ, CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air, Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel, Whiskey Bravo. Calling CQ Parks on the air from Galveston Island State Park, US 3013. Calling CQ Poda and listening. There's the pilot. Okay, there's the pilot again. There's an Alpha Delta something. Kilo Bravo 4, Charlie Alpha Uniform. Kilo Bravo 4, Charlie Alpha Uniform, 5-7. So 5-9, Virginia. What's your call again? Copy 5-9, Virginia. My call is Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo. Nice, you go Whiskey Bravo. Uh, copy 5-9 Virginia. Thanks for being out there on 15 meters today. 73. Well, the wind didn't stop and the pileups didn't stop. Once again, I must say this antenna is freaking awesome. Okay. I were, of course, okay. So the 15 meter band is easier to work DX than 20 meters and 40 meters many times, 
not every day, but you know, generally speaking. But I got a, I got a station in Portugal. I got a station in Poland. I got a station in Sweden. There was one other DX. I can't remember where it was right now. I think I got four DX stations, and they were. I was calling. I was sitting on the frequency, and they were calling back to me. So that's not that unusual, really, on parks on the air. If you're working 10 or 15 meters, it's it's not that unusual. But that little antenna right there. This just freaking awesome vertical antenna with a screwdriver, with a motorized screwdriver, right here about a foot and a half above sea level, just is an awesome, awesome performing antenna. I can't say good enough things about this antenna. One of, the, one of my favorite antennas in my arsenal, and I'm very happy to have had it. So check out TarHeelDesigns.com. Link will be in the description below. And uh, let me know what other uh, videos you'd like to see about this antenna, using it in other places. Next time I go on a road trip and we're going through some national parks where you're not really supposed to throw stuff into trees or put stuff in the ground, that's what I'm taking with me. 73, guys.